person is Aussie, no that ain't something that you want to happen. Cause I flow so hot I drop bars like I'm dropping matches. Cremate him on the spot so you could say that I've got the ashes. Yeah. In the history of good sports, the Aussies always take him down. I said good sports, so do not mention soccer once you pasty clown. <laughs> <laughs> Face it now, I'ma break you down until you taste the ground so your death has been decided. Red should have pulled the cable out. Yeah. Pacing round, I can feel it, mate, you can't rap. Your inspiration's gone fucking drier than your bath mat. The hard fact is, you ain't known for your mad rhyme schemes, no, you poms are just known for your bad hygiene. <laughs> Cause when it comes to this cat's hygiene, he likes to take it slow. If I saw him in a swimming pool, I'd throw this kind of cake of soap. Oh, I would. I would throw him something else to help him stay afloat, but this border jumping fucking prick would probably make a boat. <laughs> Time! You wanna go? You wanna you wanna go? Alright. Untime! Well, yeah. Untime! <laughs> Untime! Untime! I'll speed up a bit. I'll make it known with your accent you talk like a bitch. He was standing at the bar when I walked by the prick. He had a sweaty hand full of some Yorkshire quids and was asking the staff for a warm pint of piss. <laughs> I got that raw type of shit you see this master is tutored cats. Do not ever think that you are passing me dude your whack. When the Southern Cross is on the mast I'm saluting that. But any given chance I'd wipe my ass on the Union Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid twat, you've been living on that rock tip and now your cock's sitting up inside like a lost prick, you want this? I will cock it back like a dog piss and you will see this pom getting bombed by this convict. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just let it spit, man, let it spit. Just let it spit. So yeah. the crowd's going to say it, Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Wait. If there's anything this Shrek lookalike can cook us a pie, if you could look in his mind, all you would find is a mismatched cookery sign, a selection of fried food, and a line on a couple of poo eating flights. <laughs> Fucking shit for brains. But it's okay, my mental health ain't particularly tip top. I just don't feel shit because I know this retard can't even change the time on a fucking wristwatch. <laughs> when this big slob's fapping, he don't need to put his dick off, he just rips off his top and gives himself a tit job. <laughs> Yo, I reckon in a past life you were the infamous stick of the dump, because since the beginning of the month, without giving a fuck, you've been living it up in a skip bin in the park. <laughs> Trust, bruv, I don't give a fuck if you're top tier. I ain't going down like hot beer, touching a tongue that just got seared. Word on the street is you got your knob pierced to your nutsack. Hoping that when you jizz, the jizz would hit your gooch or your butt crack. <laughs> you fucking poo push up. Yo, I step with intent to devastate. Step away before the second wave. I'ma finish you quicker than the windy blue if outside it's minus 28 degrees centigrade. Then celebrate with a pepper steak. I'm yeah. not an oxygen thief, but I'll still take your breath away. Remember, no venom can prevent it, mate. You better pray. Wow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Time! Yeah. Yo. Yo, my bars are so vivid that they're half 3D. You get fucked with that mic till your ass crease bleeds. No, you can't beat me. See, if the microphone's a weapon, then yours is a pocket knife. Mine's an RPG. Yeah. See, I don't need to say it twice. Battle rap's my way of life. Face it, my scene ain't a place for your basic rhymes. See, I can say a line that can make a guy stand on a stage and cry, go home, then late that night, take his life. Yeah. The ladies like your speech impediment. 
You talk like a spastic, mate. You spit when you talk, but the drugs make it acid rain. I saw him chat away with Dash today, and when he spat it sprayed straight across that dash like paint, like Princess Diana's brains. Oh. Like when you judge me in lethal, we could see you ain't no straight shooter. Trying to lay down the facts like a retarded state trooper. He was, <laughs> he was hanging off my nuts while he stuttered like a gay loser. I was watching in my house like, today, Junior! <laughs> Cause I make tunes that are so dope they blow domes, cunt that's no homo Throw blows with the shark, make you rock your own boat so don't go Acting like your flow goes off when you bitched out against my boy DC you no show I fucking hate no shows Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you can see me build the steps to the top with transparent glass Any MC who wanna share, I'm a tear in half, here comes the scary part I'll hit him with a back fist that'll have him doing backflips like Carrie Hart. Yeah. Every bar you perform is shitty. Trying to walk in my shoes, cunt, you're just fucking lucky to be walking with me. He's gonna call me Piggy, but he shows short and skinny. He should come equipped with a sign that reads, please keep indoors when windy. <laughs> <laughs> time. Time! It's a double time. Yo, that would have been a that would have been a dog flam, dog bar mixed with a dog flow, except I was never gonna battle DC and I never did a no show. Yo, fuck. That's just throwing me off the whole of my shit. Yo, how the fuck am I I'm not a genius bitch, so tell me how the fuck I'm gonna take shit off of this streak of hits. Fuck mate, give up your ten a day Big Mac fillers, you got a face greasier than a hungry Jack Sinner. Look at your fat figure, you got back fat thicker than a backpack fuller. Yo, I ain't gonna stop until I've broken his heart. And I know what he loves most, so I'ma go to his yard and set fire to his entire collection of Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. My prerogatives on expelling all this cockiness, your ego shook as fuck and it's incredibly obvious. In this league I'm moving, I'm excelling to the top of it, leaving you looking stupid like an XL with a body kit. Yeah. <laughs> Just stop coming to Yaya's and nicking all the oxygen. <laughs> as Matty is acting as asthmatic, I'm busting black magic, morphing map prints into mash mint scraps in the trash bin. You chat yeah. shit. Everybody knows what you get up to when you're at it. You secretly pole dance and practice with a javelin. <laughs> Five alive giant gerbils fill up your whole ass. Forgot to ask how they all been travelling. <laughs> and pull out them dead rabbits, you'll get maggots. You should really think about changing your sex habits. <laughs> you're such a piece of shit, even your poo's fat. I know I said you're a streak of fit. I know I said you're a streak of piss, but don't try to think up a flip too fast. I consider as Maddox and Matt Prince two separate dudes, but they're both one of the two cards. So fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> The only good thing that's come out your homeland is grime. I don't care where you're from, you can go stand aside Cause I've got grime bars that no man could write Get that whole crowd screaming, don't hand the mic Like what? I'm better than you, you better than me? They can never be truly done When I get in the mood to be penning a tune Your head is removed in one You ain't shit but a wannabe So remember if you wanna step in my shoes Go ahead if you choose But the fact is that you are destined to lose, you cunt Say I do it all, you can come and test me I'm top tier, everything you do is fucking petty Your sister's so dumb and wet She met me at the bar and I'm convinced that chubby slut Was getting drunk and messy off one fucking jug of Pepsi <laughs> That filthy pommy slut Tommy slut is doggish mud and has a cock and nuts and that is not a bluff because she showed me all that sloppy junk. <laughs> I stopped just stunned. Looked at her like, what the fuck? She just started coughing up a blubber cum from her lungs. <laughs> and if you didn't know why we call them poms, listen to what I'm saying. When they realised that country was better and started migrating, they came here. But the Aussie sun up in the sky made the pigs start popping like a piece of fried bacon. And they went red like pomegranates. Like his face when a dumb clown is spitting. There's a point to why I've said a bunch of stuff about these bitches before you jump round, just listen. The moral of the story, if you can't handle the heat, then get the fuck out the kitchen. Yeah. You're done now, you're finished, you can stop making awful raps. I just thank the Lord that this fuck we don't recording tracks. <laughs> the storm is back and you can feel the fucking walls collapse. Call the faggots back home and say you'll come and crawl them back. Yeah. Time. Time! <laughs> Go.
go, there's no way that you're headed to heaven, you're talking about fucking my sister, she's only 11. Oh. That's how I like it, that's how I like it. Yeah. <laughs> you're incredibly grotesque, it doesn't make no sense, you're a child molesting sex predator with a fetish for old men. <laughs> Your dick gets hard if you hear somebody fart. If I had a Snickers bar, I'd throw it on the road and as I'd be running so fast to get it that when he goes past, you'd hear his tits slapping into both arms. <laughs> I bet you paid PCB not to release footage online of Spin the Mic. You lost once, got a second chance, lost twice, and both times you got ripped alive and big goodbye. And you were confident as fuck. That's what's so freaking funny, you even left a comment on the event page that said, show me the money. So stop thinking you're God's gift, you're not shit, you're more common than the Commodore. Come on, you're not coming forth with the rugged force of a juggernaut. <laughs> In fact, your entire existence on Earth serves great purposeless. Your fate's to work a dead-end job for one of the commercial waste services. Your ambition in life is to move to the Antarctic to live in an igloo. You want to, move, you want to enter Bindun to sniff glue with a big group of Hindus. It's blatant you got issues. And I forgot to get the tissues, but I was going to get you some tissues in case he did lose his six unit. Fuck! <laughs> We're going to the judges! Alright, so we are just judging uh, Cable versus Asthmatic. A uh, very tight battle, man. No question about it. Um, the way I'm going to break it down is pretty fucking simple. Um, Cable had bars for days, bro. Like, he clearly, clearly had bars, but there was no real emphasis and selling point behind the bars it was a case of cable just running through his bars uh, whereas asthmatic i would probably even argue that cable had some of the better bars but asthmatic was able to actually perform his shit like he sold every bar like even if asthmatic had a basic bar in between the really sick bars he sold that basic bar um and i also feel like cable got shook by the third round for sure because his energy just plummeted. Um, so I'm gonna give it to Asthmatic 3-0. Uh, the dude beat me, that's a great achievement because I'm the heavyweight champ of the world. But uh, I'm giving it to Asthmatic for sure, let's go. Yo, it's a Dot Crook back again. Just watched uh, Cable and Asthmatic go at each other. Asthmatic's always entertaining, man. He's, he's always delivering, he's always smart. He holds the crowd in his hand and that's, that's, that's half of the battle, pardon the pun. Um, cable man, I won't lie, that first fucking round, both of them came out with fire. Like, the delivery was on point, they just owned it, their punchlines were sick, the crowd was into both of them. But uh, as Decoy also said, it just seemed in the second and third round that Cable kind of fell off. You know, still delivered his lines, but his delivery wasn't with that punch that the first round had. And even himself just gave it out on that third, you know, that third verse. Uh, Always got love for Asthmatic, man, and ain't nothing biased, but the dude is just fun to watch. He enjoys what he does, and as he said in one of those lines, man, this is his life, so I'm gonna have to throw it that way, man. And I'd say 3-0, and oh, man, but that first round was a tie, so I'm gonna give it a nice lifestyle, two to one, Asthmatic. All right, yo, it's going, Starko. Yeah, I've had that again, man. I took some references and notes. All right, Asthmatic vs. Cable, dope shit. Asthmatic's round one. Came out opening with a loud voice, he had like a Ashes cricket scheme coming to some sports. Nice multis, I heard a cable out, name flip, that was killer man. The bath mat line had the crowd roaring, he followed it up, you know, paraphrased it with the bad hygiene shit, he knows what he's doing man. The make a boat line, the whole wide my ass with the Union Jack, round one man, that was awesome asthmatic. Going over to cable, he opened with a softer voice, came with some jokes, that stick of the dump line was awesome. And um, that top tier hot beer, I thought that was a dope idea. Enunciation's always solid, and you've got a dope flow cable, you're mad. Round two, uh, as came again with the strong multis and enunciation. Um, I feel that Princess Diana brain reference was just, whoa, man, that was crazy shit, man. He's always coming with the UK references versus the UK opponent. I thought, you know, he knows what he's doing, that's smart shit. Call me Pigger, Piggy indoor when it's windy, another sick line. Um, round two cable, you know, he came up with a flip, he had a little bit of a slip, but other than that, man, it was still sick. Creative fat bars, that XL body kit line was sick. Um, great enunciation and that javelin punch hit really hard, I love that shit. Round three on Az, that grime start, you know, with the UK grime flow, that was dope. Um, the handle heat, get out of the kitchen, the Pepsi line, something about stop, just son, what the fuck, blob a cum, like, he comes up with some real imagery multis, I like that, doing killer shit, Az. 
Um, round three on cable, that flip, and my sister's only 11, I thought that was great, but as handled that how he does. I felt his energy fell off a tiny bit at the end cable, um, but he had igloo bars, and igloo bars are the shit, man. I love igloo bars all day, but I'm going to have to give that to Asthmatic. Good shit, boys. Too fat, dude. I don't want to hear it, man. I don't want to hear it. Too fat. Hey, yo, anyway. Too fat. Hold up. Welcome back to Perth City Battles. I'm your host, MC Red. This is Decoy. If you enjoyed that shit, please make some noise! Hey, shout outs to Red for the hospitality and shout outs to the MCs involved, man. It's been a crazy event. Red's behind the camera. I don't know why he is, but please follow God Beef Battle League 2. Let's get on with the battle. All right, without further ado, the judges have came back from a decision. Asthmatic! Yeah. Screw loose and shit, and I got fucking CDs. I'm just gonna fucking give them away because I'm a loose cunt. Welcome to Perth City, it's the home of Australia's prettiest titties. Where the fuck you at?